So today we went to Discovery Cove and swam with dolphins. A little over a year ago, Francesca started talking about wanting to swim with dolphins after seeing Dolphin Tail 2, and she loved it. The thing was that she started saying, maybe I want to be a marine biologist and work at that Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And so we are going there. We leave for there on Thursday. Uh, but anyhow, at Discovery Cove, we swam with a dolphin named Clipper. And when we first went down there, she was already kind of swimming around. She swam over to our group, which was a family from upstate New York with strong accents, but sweethearts as well, and us too. So one at a time, we got to go over to Clipper and kind of pat her and kiss her on our cheek as we cupped our hands under her chin and her energy was so sweet. When we would touch her, she would get excited and make little sounds. And there was a moment where each of us also got to hold her dorsal fin and pec fin and lean into the water and have her pull us a good 15 feet. And she was so powerful. And I could feel her fin kind of rubbing against my feet. And you could tell that she was just so joyful with everything that she did. And it's amazing the dolphin's intelligence with how they're able to learn all of those tricks and techniques, the intelligence that they are just naturally born with is um, amazing. But when I first got in there with the dolphins, I started crying happy tears. It was like getting married or having a baby, those kind of love moments where you really connect with your uh, gut and yourself and Anyhow, I sound like a Discovery Cove uh, commercial at this point, but just saying it was really awesome, so I decided to make this little video diary. And Francesca, for sure, was just in love with the whole experience, too. Francesca, do you want to say anything? No. No. Okay, anyway, she loves Clipper. She has a little dolphin necklace on, and we named it Clipper. Anyhow, bye, and I definitely recommend swimming with a dolphin. They're amazing.